Mary Ellen Kelly is my name, and I've had 37 wonderful years at City College. They um, first started when um, Adult Ed was over on Santa Barbara Street. Kind of a maverick teacher. My husband and I had just moved out from Virginia, and uh, he's, a, he's a human factors engineer, and <clears throat> they had sort of a national network. And so when they heard Gene was out here, they got him interested in a project for a few hours. And I thought, okay, fine, maybe I'll teach a few hours too. And so uh, I did through adult ed. My first big job with them was under the WIN program, a government-funded program to get <clears throat> bring members of excluded society back into the ranks of things. And we had um, ex-cons, ex-prostitutes. They were wonderful. It's the most exciting teaching I ever did. We had a dozen people, uh, seven hours a day, five days a week, down at the old Rosaro buildings on Montecito Street. It was just, it was a family. I woke up in the morning and would be eager to get down to, we called ourselves the Dirty Dozen. And, uh, for seven happy months, we had this. And <clears throat> Sam put on a great graduation for everyone and uh, with a dinner, a dinner party. And uh, some of the men went on to uh, motor mechanics training. Uh, some went on to LVN training, as most of the women did. And with about 80 classes in 16 facilities around and then um, we also had another program for developmentally disabled mm -hmm. <coughs> that was uh, the uh, cooking program mm -hmm. at Wake Center. And the students were fantastic. Some were blind, some were deaf, some were wheelchair bound. Uh, they had different kinds of disabilities that <coughs> didn't permit any one student to do a whole task, but together they were fantastic. And the beginning of the Omega program. And I looked around and I thought, uh, of all the people who weren't being served by adult ed, I felt the elderly were not, mm -hmm. especially the elderly that were in long-term care facilities. Okay. So um, I just started knocking on doors, asking if they would like classes brought to the facilities, mm -hmm. and it just grew from there. We're all aging. Some of us clearly have been at it longer than others, <laughs> but um, <clears throat> the uh, how we want to be as older people, uh, it's important that we buy into the <clears throat> the attributes, the values that are conducive to the way we want to become as an elderly person. Every aspect of, of our lives, from the spiritual, to the physical, to the mental, to the emotional, that whatever I did at the moment was just uh, filled with purpose and filled with meaning. As long as there's breath in the body, you can at least smile at the person beside you.